I'm sorry, I forgot. No, I didn't forget. Oh, I was talking. I saw this big sign says mute. Okay, unmute. <laughs> so, hi, thank you for joining. This is Elizabeth. Today, we're just talking. I always feel like it's going to always build. It's going to be new reactors every, every month. There's going to be, somebody's going to be like, hey, give me a camera and let me say the exact same thing that majority of us feel. And it never will change unless we have new people that we can react to. Well, I won't say it's growing. Well, it did grow. Okay. But I'm going to say, am I ready for it to grow more? Because it's a process. Like this is something new um, that you got to make sure that you're handling everybody with care, if that makes sense. And you can't please everybody. One thing I know, you can't please everybody. And you do one thing, they they gonna scar you for life. So you scar them for life. So I always think that. And I was listening to Ashley say so. I think mentally in my head, Ashley says so is my friend. <laughs> I don't know if y'all got those those people on these shows. Like somebody is your friend. Like they're your friend. She actually say so is my friend in my head. She's my friend. But she was talking about like, you know, she couldn't please everybody with certain um people that she speaks on on her channel. Because some people are are die for fans. They don't want to hear the bad stuff about their favorite artists or their movie stars. So she had to like take back and say, hey, I appreciate the people. I love everybody with the same energy and all that. And that's understandable. So it's good. I, I feel like it's okay. But I hope y'all having a wonderful day. Y'all, it is just, I was sitting here trying to find like I want to do like next Monday. I want to do um October ideas, but not like it's just like new ideas I found that we could possibly somebody could possibly use on our channel if they want to do blogness or Octoberness. They could possibly use it. And it'd be like fun. I want to do some for Thanksgiving and I want to do some for of course, Christmas, because there are some things I see people and they don't do. They touch on, oh, what do I, what is what's in my kids' uh, stocking? No, they don't even do that. What I buy my my kids for Christmas? I don't want to see that. You know, nobody don't want to see you buy. You you have to go out and buy the whole store just to get content. Nobody don't want to see that. I mean, they want to see genuine behavior. Yeah, you. It, it, it you have to be. I, I like I said, I have to be thankful every day that I do have somebody you know people that watch and some people that come but you got to be also understanding that it don't happen overnight you know and be honest with you, you never want nothing to happen overnight you never want an overnight success um because you won't have a hard time balancing that and at first i had a hard time balancing it i, I don't know my do's and don'ts <laughs> I don't. I don't know my do's and don'ts. Well, I'm going to tell you this. The mommy sector, I don't think I will ever do the mommy sector that majority of us talk about um, because they ran out of ideas. They ran out of content. And that's real talk. And I, I know some of y'all like certain people, but they ran out of ideas. There's so much, I'm being honest with you. 
I'm gonna just talk about jazz. How many times? How many times do we really need to see a woman coming on the camera, face not washed, hair not put together, her showing a a junky home? Like your camera is more important than you fixing up. And y'all, I don't know about y'all, but sometimes fixing up your house before you go out in the you go out to maybe go out of town or go go to a day trip or go to the mall sometimes certain things make you feel good as a female at that and it's not being sexist but as a female it's just like your shower is clean your bed is you got a fresh sheet your clothes is put away that stuff makes you feel good naturally. I don't know about y'all, but baby, I love taking a shower. And I know that I just put on the fresh, clean sheets. My, my floor is clean. My floor is vacuum. I feel good for a couple of days. Her house with that pile of laundry will make me mentally have a nervous breakdown. It would probably be something that it'd be urgent that I need. And it's just the fact that uh, that is not content. That's not real. That's not content because I can't relate to that. Um, I was going to do um, easy peasy laundry. Like, I don't know about anybody else, but... Laundry seems very easy to me when I get it done, right? All I have to do is put the clothes in the washer. When it stops, I put the clothes in the dryer. When it stops, or hold on, hold on, no. This is not what I do. I put the clothes in the washer. It stops putting it in the dryer, start it. Then I put another load in there. When that stuff in the dryer, the clothes in the dryer stops, I fold it. I do not put it in a basket. I stand by the dryer and fold it because there's something about me. I prefer to have dry clothes folding it up. It needs to be hot and dry. So, yeah, I don't know about <laughs> y'all, but that's how I do it. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't watch the Jackson, and I'm going to be honest with you. It seemed like a lie. About the three times twins, the third try twins. I think it, it felt like it was a lie to me. Um, and then they have a uck face and then say we're done talking about it. I I don't know. I don't know anybody that would uh, You use um Ebony, you said that you want me to show you my city. Cause be honest with you, I don't have time to edit. I really don't. Yes. Yes. I Bella, we on the same page. <laughs> oh gosh. I think either way, I don't care if it's clean. Or dirty, I just feel like a lot of clothes make your house stink. And if it's not put away, it's in baskets or it's piled up. It just makes my, I just feel like it makes my house stink. You don't, I, you know what? Something that I wanted to do it, but I seen so many people react to it. People will love you regardless if you had just twins or just a single pregnancy they would love you regardless because people genuinely love definitely a married couple unit with kids they love that that was all you needed have babies look at all these look at the Look at anybody that, and I'm not talking about just a boyfriend and a girlfriend. No, they love a unit. They have a unit, a unit. 
that people will love regardless because they're building, they're multiplying, they're being fruitful. And they didn't understand that. They didn't understand, hey, we don't have to lie about this. But to be honest with you, they probably caught so many people lying about birth, um, complications. And, you know, people lie about that all the time. Complications, um, testing of the infant that's in the womb. You know, we we deal with that. Because people feel like, hey, this is a better storyline. No, I had a basic pregnancy. I couldn't. <laughs> and when I was thinking about um, doing YouTube, I was pregnant with my third son. Well, my third child and my third son. But my third child. And I was like, man, this pregnancy is boring. <laughs> my pregnancy was so boring. Like, all I did was eat, <laughs> sleep work, eat, sleep, work. And I canceled out on a lot of doctor's appointments because I, I was just like, why am I going to this thing? Why do I keep on going to these doctor's appointments? Like, can they leave me alone? Like, no, they could not leave me alone. And Bella, you know what? Okay, so we're going to memory lane, okay? Y'all remember Jazz had did a Thanksgiving vlog with her grandmother's house, right? And her grandmother's house was like, I won't call it dirty. It was just cluttered everywhere. Jazz seemed like she's constantly okay with that. Um, Darn to... She's trying to put the laundry bin. She's trying to put the laundry bin out in the hallway. Y'all, I typically, hmm, yeah, my kids don't have bins. They don't have baskets. The only time we have baskets is literally for the sheets and the blankets I have to take to the dot um, to the doctor's office um the blankets and the sheets to the laundry mat because i'm not trying to mess with my washer and dryer so i typically do that like twice a month and um or probably less than that it depends on how many blankets we have and i do a big clean big wash and fold them up send them on their merry way but yeah, we don't have laundry and definitely not in the out of the house. Like it should be stuck somewhere, like in a bag, like a, a laundry bag. But to me, that tells me that jazz typically throws and how the kids handle their clothes is how jazz handle her clothes. When she said, Oh, the, the clothes is stuck in the closet, like girl, your kids. Watch you. Um, uh uh, Bella, I could not be at all. Oh, my dad, mm -mm. Mm -mm. And even though it was like only 30 minutes, but it seemed like forever to. Y'all, I don't know if it was lazy, but it just seemed like I have to get dressed for the doctors. Then I have to roll out the car. <laughs> After, I, I say, hey, I told the doctor, I say, hey, don't schedule me no more until the 36th week. I, I don't want to see nobody. And that was like, at 36 weeks, I was going to the doctor every two weeks, y'all. Okay, and then after 36, it'll be every week. Okay, but it's just like, come on, come on. What happens to once a month? That that was that hurt my nerves was every two weeks. Yes, it's just too much. 
It was too much. Uh, and, you know, and we can talk. I, I don't care. Um, during my pregnancy with my third son, I didn't have a very romantic pregnancy that if y'all understand it wasn't it it, it kind of crashed and burned and that's what that's life and be honest with you I wasn't very uh I wanted to go away and I don't know if a lot of people talk about this but I wanted the pregnancy not the baby or you know the pregnancy I just wanted to hurry up with the pregnancy yes and I wouldn't say unsupportive. It was more like, um, how can I say it? I ignored too many red. I ignored his colors, his true colors, and I painted it to what I wanted him to be. And eventually, I could no longer keep painting over over colors I wanted him to be, if that makes sense. I mean, he's the best parent for his child. Um, and I feel like that's what it is. But at the end of the day, it was like, I, I think sometimes I, I try not to be too harsh. Definitely, you probably won't see me being too harsh on jazz because I feel like jazz paints until she can no longer get a shade to cover up his true colors and a lot of women don't they they deal with that like Keyshawn and Blueface she painted him to where he she wanted him to be until she said hey I ran out of paint or me covering up your colors, your true colors, is throwing off the paint I'm having. So your true colors is really coming out. So that's what it was. Oh. Well, you know, Neon is what she likes. She loves Neon. <laughs> now, you remember Jack Christie was wearing Neon for like in 2000, like Neon lipstick, Neon shirt. Jazz went out and bought Neon dress like Christy. Like, this thing is so comfortable. Like, girl, you don't know what real clothes is. You don't know what real clothes is. You don't know what real clothes is. But to be honest with you, I you know, I, I watched the, what is that? The Beverly family. And I'm sitting there. I, I'm not looking at them trying to get where they at. I'm just looking at, like, what she does in the day of the life. And, like, she put on makeup. And I feel like that family's fake, y'all. I ain't gonna lie to you. But I be feeling like, darn, what was her real, what did she really want to do with her life? Like, because it seemed like she be like, don't want to do it. To me, I be feeling that way. Like her husband, he has the money motivation part of it. But it's like she gets bored and she gets dry. So I'd be like, what what was she really like? But to each his own, I guess. <laughs> But I don't know. So probably next Monday, I'm going to do some ideas. I'm going to do an idea. Um, 
you know what? Sometimes you have to be thankful for your dead grass. And I always say that. You got to be thankful for your dead grass. Because, yeah. Because sometimes you don't want what they got over there. Mm-mm. 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 You got to be thankful for what you got. Like, I, I work with some of amazing women um a ball like theme my, you know what my ball like theme is only thanksgiving i ain't even gonna lie i love to eat love 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 and that's why i have to hit gym gym gyms <laughs> Because I don't know about y'all, but y'all think summer is, I think summer is okay to be fat, but fall, you cannot be fat in fall. Y'all just, you can't be fat in fall. Uh Uh-uh. Talking about all those clothes. No, I'm talking about the heat, that the artificial heat that you got to go and mm -mm, it takes you warmer to warm up. Uh uh-uh. uh, you just you gotta activate. Mm-mm. But fall themes. Um, are you talking about like a decor? Cause I don't do decor. I only do Christmas decor. But that seems like a cool thing, a fall theme. You know, we we'll try something out. That sounds like a good idea. Yes. Yes. You're correct. Insects die. In North Carolina, they have these. Well, somebody said they, they're roaches. But all my life, I thought they was water bugs, okay? But they said, no, they're roaches. And they're American roaches. Hold on. They're American roaches. And the little ones that multiply multiple and one time, like they can have like 5,000 babies at one time out of one egg, they're the ones that's called German roaches. They don't die. But those big water bugs, the ones that fly, that got eyelashes, yeah, I be like, yes. Come on, die. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that. Oh my gosh, I hate those. Like the roaches. Yeah. Yes, the eyelashes. Girl, you you I don't know if y'all ever had those things. And they crawl. And they 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 have no shame in their game. Like other roaches, well, I don't know about that. But I know that other roaches, they have, they scatter and they they typically be in like a pack and they always looking for food. But those big ones, they looking for something to do. And if you ever have one sitting on your bed and you got like a light shining from like my bedroom, I have a bathroom and a closet. So if I always have one light on. I don't I don't I don't know why, but I always have one light on. And one of them was like on my bed just blinking at me like, "Are you going to wake up?" <laughs> yeah. I don't like killing them. I, I <laughs> you be like, "Girl, why?" <laughs> I'm like, "Cuz I feel like they're going to attack me if I miss." <laughs> so <laughs> I'm like this grown ass woman screaming over a damn water bug. Like, ah. yes, they fly. Ooh. Or they don't. 
And I always, I find out they don't multiply in your house. So you're not going to have like little baby roaches in there. You ain't going to have like, you know, grown, grown baby roaches in your house. They typically come out from the outside. I don't like them because one, because I say in a neighborhood that I, I want to find one neighborhood that doesn't allow pets. Like I want to find one that does not evolve pets. It was like, oh, you know, nope. if I have to make my own complex that don't have pets at all, I don't want no pets. Yes, and they was like looking at me like, uh-uh, when are you going to wake up? Get up. I want to, I want you to scream. Like, uh-uh. But I did see um it was hoarders. I don't know if y'all ever seen that show, Hoarders, but I remember they had like the real roaches, like the real little ones that, you know, that hides and, you know, cracks and, you know, they come out of the woodworks. And she had a house full of those. And then she had a house full of the water bugs. I was like, you know what? Just throw the whole house away. Uh-uh. There's no way. Mm-mm. I was like, how do you eat in this place? But you can, you know, but I always, I think if I'm, I'm like, seriously, sometimes I have to think about it. Like, when I go out, like, I have a lot of blankets. <laughs> I'm like, if I buy another blanket, I am, a, I'm going to be a house of hoarders. I'm like a blanket away. Because I don't like, it's not blanket, it's quilts. I prefer quilts over blankets. Because one is less space like you can save up less space and can have more <laughs> but it's like mm, girl <laughs> if you don't put that down <laughs> so I always feel like I am a house away from being a hoarder myself no you know the German roaches is the typical smaller ones that's typically infested in like apartment complex and stuff like that. Like seriously, those things is hard. Like I don't know if anybody else. I, I'm not going to be on. I'm not going to be lying up here. But I did stay in an apartment that had those roaches, and baby, I had to throw everything away. Like everything away. If it wasn't broken down into pieces, then I could shake it when I left. But I did not keep no furniture. I didn't keep nothing. You hear me? Uh uh. They was like, you don't want no. Uh, I don't care. Uh uh. I left everything at the door. <laughs> they was like, this is a nice couch. No, man, you can't have it. Uh uh. And it made it bad because roaches, those roaches, they have a scent, like an oil scent to it. And I could smell it instantly when I moved into that house. And I regret staying there. But it is what it is, y'all. So now I'd be like, can I can I smell the unit before I sign? <laughs> y'all be like, girl, she's smelling for roaches. Yes, you can smell those things. You don't want them. And definitely in an apartment unit, like I don't care how many times they sprayed or a bomb. If, for example, if you have one neighbor that, just say one of your neighbors is nasty. And I mean, nasty, like you, they have trash, they have drinks and everything in their, on their, from their doorstep and their door is sticky and dirty. You could just tell, right? 
or um, you can just tell, like, and if they have to bomb that house, let's say, hey, we're going to bomb this house because we see a heavy infestation. Those roaches got to crawl somewhere else and they're going to invest in your home. And then before you know it, you're going to have the people calling back and then they're going to another person. Then they scatter. They just never die. I don't see them dying. I swear they multiply. Mm -mm. I don't like those roaches. I don't like none of the big ones. I don't like the little ones. I don't like none of them. They creep me out. Like, I don't know why. <laughs> I, I don't know why. I, Y'all. Oh, I, I bet you, like, you find a roach. Trust me, like, <laughs> I don't know about anybody else, but you, mm -mm. Uh, and roaches, they say roaches carry the worst diseases. I think kids are number one. <laughs> <laughs> and y'all don't be like coming for me. Like, I think kids are number one. Roaches is not. <laughs> kids are number one. Um, yeah, I, I just don't like them. I don't like them crawling. I don't like, oh, you talking about the kids? Girl, you be, I swear to God, it's always that one kid that carries the worst germs. Like, I tell you, it, I have three of them. And somebody asked me the other day, it was like, your kid's been in school for almost two months. You you haven't called and said you can't come to work because your kids are sick. I said, you know what? Even that sounds like a good thing to do. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I see you. I see that excuse next month. But, um. But typically what I do is I tell them to take their clothes off, do not put their book bags or coats on my couch, spray it down, not because of COVID, because they actually can still get sick. Somebody, some kid can have a stomach virus and they rolling all up in your couch and then next you rolling up on your couch, you're not feeling good, you got something going on with you. And then now everybody is sick besides the one that brought it home. Interesting. Interesting. I'm like. <sighs> you know what? I didn't know. But <laughs> I think it's kind of funny, but wrong at the same time. Their school, I, one time, I didn't know school's supposed to tell y'all that lice, they found a student with lice and the student's getting cured or, but they, a student have lice. I didn't know they call you for that. Like they, I got an alert talking about, hey, there's a kid in so-and-so um, area, the uh, hallway, like a fifth grader hallway or a sixth grader hallway, they report it with lights. And you should take part, you know, you should go and examine your child and make sure she don't have lights. Girl, I try not to, but <sighs> if we could, if the sun was, and we could literally keep our kids in a sunroom for about an hour <laughs> so they can they can burn all those germs off. I would do it, even a little one. But trust me, they bathe every night. They do not play outside. They do not eat a snack. Their, my goal is 
to stay clean. Because hey, and one thing is don't don't do it. Mm -mm. I don't spray them down. No, you don't spray them down. You're not going to be that serious. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know. Maybe because I this is the first time we had an outbreak or or somebody had it. Because be honest with y'all, some that would be like some type of confidential <laughs> agreement, I guess. Because I remember when I was in school, somebody had TB. And everybody in this part, well, the whole school actually, um, had to go and had to go and get a TB shot. Because her classes was mixed with other kids. Like, for example, she we had gym at the time. So they had to break down everybody that was in the gym, her period, then break it down to the kids that that those other kids was exposed to. Y'all, it was a hot mess. We all had to take a TB shot. And then later on, we found out who did it, who had it. And then the school looked at her like she got a disease or something. Like, <laughs> she did. <laughs> but it was just like, come on now. Well, technically, they will know who had got it due to the fact that one, she was missing from school for almost a week. You get what I'm saying? Like, okay, yeah, she had it. But yeah, it's just, I would never think they would still do that. I wish they did that with COVID so I can go punch that parent in the face that brought their kids to school. <laughs> It probably be, it probably was my tail the whole time thing I was grown. Like, I'm in my car, I don't need a face mask. I'm in drive through and got it right at drive through. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it was just a great level. But they didn't do the name either. But when we had a TV shot, we knew who it was because they basically broke it down to the kids that was in her class. Of course, we had it. And then the kids who was exposed to other kids had to take it as well. But I know we was automatically the first ones to get it. And that's what happens when, you know, I think she was a freshman and I was a junior at the time. So everybody mixture. So, but I don't know. I am. Oh, girl, I was not even supposed to be on here this long talking. But I don't, um, Break it down. I was just kind of a little bit discouraged. A little bit, not a lot. I was just a little bit discouraged on my channel and like where I want to go, you know. But, and like I said before, I just had to, I had to come to my own personal realization that this is my channel. And if people like it, they like it, they don't, they don't. And it's, it's nobody's problem like it's nobody's problem but I do want to leave y'all with this okay so I've been seeing Mr. Phillip <laughs> Mr. Phillip said he was thinking about getting full custody of his kids now I do not know if he's talking about the Asia or the Jasmine now I think the boy, I don't think he, he, it's not that he don't want him, but maybe that mother is not, she's not bad. Oh, I know. Thank you, Rochelle. Um, I don't think that the mother is bad per se. Um, not bad. I don't, we don't know our history, so we don't know who he's talking about. 
But I, I think he is talking about Jazz because he was like, I see what y'all saying because I'm assuming they're talking about her. But I'm going to say this. Jazz, do not let this man... Do not let this man be your, don't let him be, this be his warning. Because if he said that, he said multiple stuff, plenty of times about Jazz and how she treat the kids. Don't let this be your public warning. Because he has more stuff on you than anything. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. He's going to have to fight Cheryl because Cheryl got those, um, those kids' taxes. She got those kids in her taxes, in her name. And I think Jazz got two. Well, she now now she got three. That's the reason why she's balling the way she is, y'all. Count it, count it, count it. She balling because Chris can't really ball with that baby. He he probably would. They probably would took it for child support. So Jazz and Dairy, Chris got his money for Dairy. He does. He did. He did. I don't care what anybody say. He got his money for Dairy. We see it. Okay. She's still paying. She's still paying it off. All right. He was like, mm, you want this baby? I need 18 months worth of tax money from him. Yeah. Well, let's say, let's break this down. When a person get food stamps or even Tana, they have to put their child on. Um, we're going to talk about me. When I was taking food stamps and I had Tana, I had to put my child's father on birth control. Um, not birth control. Oh, it's too late for that, ain't it? <laughs> I had to put him on child support. That case never closed out. I don't know if anybody knows that. Like, if you want to fight it, you probably can fight it. Like, and that adds up. It starts from the time that you put them on child support. It can go idle due to the fact that you're no longer on, uh, dang. Okay, not on food stamps. Okay. Well, food stamps, yeah, you're, you're right. But Tana, but I'm be honest with you. I don't see that first baby mama getting any support from him. She was she most likely was getting some Tana because she didn't know better. You gotta think about it. They wasn't they wasn't old, but they wasn't young either. And she had twins. Somebody talked her into Tana. So, I think that personally, it's still, he probably still got a claim. Like, he still got a case, but it's probably on idle. Like, I don't see, I don't see him. I don't see none of the women sitting there saying, I'm not going to put you on side support. I just think they just got off Tana. Because that is your, that's your first step with getting child support is Tana. 
<laughs> that's real talk. <laughs> that is that's real talk. Like should you know how to get child support, go apply for Tanner. <laughs> Your name be on the. You'll get a phone call within two hours after you put your application. <laughs> They'll call you right in, like I need this, I need this, I need that. Girl, you, you don't be playing with them. They gonna find your money. They'll they'll keep you on idle until I I don't know. Is Tana still like five years? Like you can only do Tana for like a certain amount of time. Cause when I did it in Tennessee with my daughter, they gave you a five year cap. They was like, nope, after five years, your kid is your kid can go to school. <laughs> your kid can go to school. Okay. Cause they was like, uh uh-uh. after five years, you ain't sit on this jump. And then people got a new hustle. I know now I know people have a new hustle. I thought it was five years. Well, hold up. That's another program. It's another program. Like Tana is like the welfare check. But there's another program that they will um, help you with. And I think you have a certain months too. You got like months. You don't have years. No, but it's a different program too. It's like two. Workforce. What is that? Work. We have Tamara and then you have Workforce. I think it's something to do with work, but they they will pay you a certain amount, but you have to apply by their rules. But girl, mm-mm. I'm good. I swear to God, nobody is not going. To, I think I got like a hundred and seventy four dollars. For one child, and I was like, I I think I did it for like a good five months. I was like, I ain't gonna never be able to get out of my mama's house. (laughs) Can y'all imagine saving $174 every month? (laughs) Girl, (laughs) I hopped to somebody's school in a heartbeat, okay? I went. Yes, I hopped in somebody's school and I hopped on somebody's public transportation and I hopped into somebody's restaurant and I am okay. Okay. It's not, it's not how you did it. It's what you came out of. I don't know if I said it right, but uh uh-uh. And trust me, at that time when I had my daughter... Hell, you barely had good. We didn't have Wi Fi. We didn't have Wi Fi. We probably did have something with Wi Fi, but it was still some some sucky internet. Nobody wasn't doing YouTube <laughs> when I had my first child. Okay, we had we had cable. Okay, we barely we still was doing CW. Okay, CW was. The entertainment for a lot of us, American Top Model, um, Flavor Flav. I mean, <laughs> and good evening, mystery. We didn't have much, okay? We didn't have much, didn't make us lesser than nothing, but we, she, you work, trust me, we work. And six dollars for it's six dollars for a bag of of chicken wing like party wings. That was expensive back then. Man, I would <laughs> I would trade that in any day for some wings that we have to buy today. Mm-mm. 
But yeah, Tana, mm -mm, I, I don't think I could do that. Someone had told Jasmine to do Tana. <laughs> And Jazz, now I'm gonna say this. They said somebody had came on my comments and said that Jasmine made only seven hundred dollars in like a month, and I was like, "What you man? Seven hundred dollars don't even get you like basic gas." I almost say seven hundred dollars a month. It don't get you gas. It don't get you. Groceries in your house. It don't get you entertainment. Now, when I say entertainment, that's just like your cell phone, internet, electricity. That's entertainment now. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a blessing not to like trip over stuff. You can turn the light on. That's entertainment, okay? Ooh, I dodged that, you know? But... Uh-uh. Uh-uh. 700? Mm -mm. And I think I stay in the, not the lowest part, but I stay in a okay area where my apartment is still in the ones, thousands, and there's some apartments that's like 2,000. Yeah. I, I, I stay okay. Yeah. You can't even survive with that 700. I know, I know I couldn't survive. And I'm not talking about rent. Mm -mm, we can. But yeah, Jazz, she need to find some content. Y'all need to tell her to come over and make some shorts on her life. That's all she needs to do, make some shorts on her life. So what y'all cooking tonight? I'm having leftovers. And sorry. He was like, I had to make a jasmine meal last night. Uh uh. It's like spaghetti, here you come. But tonight I probably will. Um, because last night I didn't make the fried chicken. So I'm probably making fried chicken with it because I don't want to waste it, y'all. Mm mm. Girl, you know what? I can see if. Okay, so I do watch Brit and Destiny, right? And when they do their clean with me's and versus, her, you know, they do clean with me's. And then you see her doing videos, right? She's constantly cleaning. Like, she's constantly and, you know, she does like a vlog. She's going to vacuum. She's going to clean up the kitchen. But Jazz clean with me is like, who stays in this filth? Why? Why you stay in this filth? Like, when I say filth, it's like, girl, before you pick up the camera, wash these dishes. It's okay. It's not content. I don't know why. I don't know who told people. To have a dirty house is content. I just don't know. I, I'm my mother used to make us. My mom used to say, "Don't open her blinds until her house is clean." That's <laughs> that is what I feel like. Don't don't put on that camera until your house is clean. She needs to watch the Beverly Family because that guy talks about him cleaning up his house and. I'll be honest with you. Yeah, I feel like he's more cleaner than his his wife, and he don't trust her. <laughs> Cause baby, uh, and you know what, the diaper genie. But I'm gonna say this: it's not even a diaper genie that does it for me. You want to know what it does? Is the toilet is broke for about two or three weeks. I know that. That's the reason why they was saging that house, y'all. They wasn't saging that house for kicks and giggles. 
they say that house because darn it, that must be some build up. She has said, I guess she has tried to, she's trying to tell us the truth in that last video. Like the plumber guy, he came and I guess he took a picture and all that other stuff, right? So what is it? Is it, oh, it's the disposable wipes. But anybody that knows anything about the disposable wipes, they break down like they're supposed to break down. They don't stay in a solid form. But what does stay solid is baby wipes. Okay, because if you ever get one, at, even like the Dollar Tree ones, they break down. I think they don't have toilet paper. She told the kids to use baby wipes because when the last time y'all ever saw Jasmine do these type of shopping hauls, diapers and baby wipes. Why do you think she don't do those? Because she probably had a stock full of that. Uh-huh. Like you don't see her going shopping for laundry detergent for everybody. Because she had stock of baby laundry detergent. Everybody right now smelling like drift. And that house smell like shit. Well, yeah, I think, yeah, she, she told the kids to use the baby wipes. Because I don't see Jasmine buying toilet paper. Do anybody see y'all her buying toilet paper? Do you, I, I would say, okay, a house full of seven people, you should have about least, you should be, I say seven people. Y'all should at least have like, at least a case, like a whole case of, Freaking toilet paper. I never seen you. I don't see her buying at least four packs of toilet paper. I don't see her going to Dollar Tree buying toilet paper. I don't see her buying no toilet paper. And I also don't see her buying baby wipes. I don't see her buying in diapers because when she had that baby shower, she had plenty of diapers. We and toilet paper. Hmm. Baby wipes, that's believable. Mom, we don't have no toilet paper. Okay. Don't flush it down the toilet. Ooh, Mom, I flushed it down the toilet. Girl, I couldn't. That house, just her describing the toilet and all that stuff just makes me know that her house smells really bad. And on top of that, with dogs that don't get washed. Okay. Do you think I watch a cook with me with her? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I don't watch it. I can smell the aftermath of the house. Bella, I'm going to say this. I don't think he bought her that. I think it was laying around in his girlfriend's house. That seems like, that don't seem like a gift that you give somebody. That was laying around in homegirl's house. And you're like, babe, are you going to use this? And she's like, no, that stuff stinks. He's like, we're going to give it to the kids, okay? Okay. You coming back home? Yes, I'll be there in three days. I think she gets treated like Jazz. That Jazz will get treated. Girl, I swear, she gives me, she gives me vibes like all right, y'all don't visual it. But she gives me vibes that she'll have a, a pickle bucket in the bathroom. But she might just sh let the kids use her bathroom while she's on live or something. But I think they probably got a pickle bucket in their bathroom, y'all. I ain't even gonna lie to you. And they make the kids dump it out in the front yard. <laughs> I hope she don't. <laughs> 
poor kids be so embarrassed. <laughs> Before you go on that school bus, you better dump that bucket out there. That's what she looks like. I don't care what anybody say. So I, if somebody going to come back and watch this and talk about, you're hiding. I'm going to report you. Ew. Oh. Ew. Mm -mm. Matter of fact, I have to I have to start reading up on how to potty train a how to potty train a baby. Well, you know what? I don't rush one. I don't rush him at one. And at two, by the time they get to touching the three, I start motivating them to use the bathroom on their own. But two, it depends on if they can listen and know the difference between nasty. Because one, I'm not potty training no child. I am not <laughs> going to lie to you. I'm not going to be like sitting in the bathroom. I'm not doing that. Eventually, like my son, he's getting older now. He can take off his little diaper and like, hold up, hold up. But yeah, one, I, he's not mature enough. <laughs> You're like, girl, hey, you better potty train that baby. Uh-uh, he ain't mature enough. Mm-mm. I don't want nothing because one thing I don't I don't clean up is poop and throw up. That's one thing my kids love. <laughs> I had my one year old. She got sick one time. I had her one holding her trash can. <laughs> so my mom was like, "You can't do that. Like she ain't throwing up on me." I had a I had her little trash can and I was like, you know what? Uh uh. I laugh at it today. <laughs> she was like a little kid. It's <laughs> just like little. <laughs> I was like, yep. In the trash can, do not do it on the floor, do not do it on the bed. I'm gonna pop you. <laughs> I did say that. <laughs> like that baby sick. <laughs> I'm gonna pop her. <laughs> she know but <laughs> Oh gosh, you know what? I I feel like sometimes I am a terrible parent. Like you you don't understand. Like my stepdad is in here, but well, my pops, if he's in here, he probably right now probably shaking his head. Like, yep, she's a terrible parent. I mean, I am a, like my mom was like literally looking at me like my my she's sick. I said, uh-uh, you don't, you use this one, use the trash can. And I tell you, like, there's one thing I just can't do, can't clean poop, and I can't clean throw up. When they're babies, I can do that. They don't know better. <laughs> but when you about four or five, mm-mm. That's the reason why I be like, I think that's the reason why I can't do, um, I don't think I can get married. Sickness or health? Mm -mm. <laughs> uh, I can't. I can't. But I'm going to let y'all beautiful ladies go. I probably won't. I'll see y'all tomorrow. I'll have something to talk about. I do want to talk a little bit about Blueface and Keyshawn. A little bit about them tomorrow. And we're just going to talk about, like, what is too, what is, who's wrong for chasing after him? Like, is the baby mama wrong? Is Keyshawn wrong? Or is Blueface wrong? But I don't know yet. We're going to talk about it. And then we're going to talk about um, little baby's baby mama and how she clapped back at the re people calling her son you know, a little sugar in his tank. And he's only three. I don't agree with that, but I do see where they're coming from. But y'all have a beautiful evening. I love every one of y'all. And just remember, you are not supposed to be here to please other people. You're supposed to be here to make it through life for whoever you are. And y'all have a wonderful night. And bye.